All right, welcome back to part three. Um, so left off, we just took the cover off. We we're looking at these big charging transformers here. And I was saying that these are actually um, in uh, series with each other to double the current. I guess to split the load instead of having one massive transformer. They just split it, the load between. So this is probably doing 50%. This one's doing 50%. Um, these are also, I forgot to mention, these are actually the inverter transformers as well. So um, you got your um, transistors down here, and it actually powers back feeds voltage into these, and you get your 120 back out. So that's how these work as well, or these UPS systems. So this kind of also acts, I guess, as like an isolation transformer, so to say. But But yeah. And uh, I was saying you can also probably wire these up to where um, in series with each other as well. So, so this whole thing can run on 240, but I don't know about that. Because, of course, the output only be 120. So. But look at that. Got these big, big capacitors. Massive wire looms. What is that, 30 amp relays? Yep. 30 amp relays. Wow. That's heavy duty. These are the type of relays you find in your appliances, um, specifically like your clothes dryers and your um, stoves, household stoves, ovens. That's what the, these relays are also used in. Got our massive inverter here. I'm not sure what the little white things are. We got our transistors. <clears throat> or MOSFETs, whatever you want to call them, down in there. I don't want to turn the camera too much because it'll flip over. Not really much. This is actually kind of bare bones. I mean, the only really interesting thing is the big, huge transformers, and that's where most of the weight is in this thing anyway. So... And I'll be honest too, this thing is really, really clean compared to what I've seen before. So, this was well taken care of, I assume. And also, I meant, meant to look, it looks like this network card is replaceable in some way. Uh, we got our uh, Sun On fans down in here. Sun, sun, sun On brand. S-U-N-O-N, -N, Sun On, I don't know, it's kind of weird to pronounce, but not sure what the, oh, these are fuses, these are onboard fuses, looks like, that's how they're configured, I thought they were like, um, external, uh, connectors, spade connectors, for like a bus bar, man, and you got your, uh, circuit breakers for the outlets back there, Looks like this is, these are interchangeable. Yep, that's probably what that's for. Because <laughs> they know somebody's going to hook up too much and it's going to, they're going to, somebody's going to blow something. But also in case an equipment failure blows these up as well, you know, you can replace them, have it be, have it serviced. And those are just soldered. That's kind of weird. I don't really like that. I prefer those to be cranked down like this right here, how these bus bars are. I prefer it to be like that on here. But it is what it is, I guess. It works. What is this? A choke? Yeah, some kind of ferrite choke there for something. Um, like some more incoming power filter, power filtration coming in. I'm trying to see. I don't know. I guess you could read those. Nope. Let me see. Some of them you can read these chips, what they're using. upside down where's that one some people might be interested in the chips I can't read that one here's your little buzzer there's a little bit of dust there so what is that oh this is a thermal couple okay so that's smart so they do actually got some maintenance battery maintainer system meaning like it's measuring the uh temperature of it make sure they're not overheating too much but uh 
Yeah, that's pretty plain, but although it is good because that way you need you need lots of uh, airflow in this anyway. So from a perspective view, this is how this looks from overhead. So, like I said, I wish this, I guarantee this thing still works. It's just, uh, I need a special plug or I need to take that plug head off and uh, put a different plug head um, or plug connector, whatever, on there. And uh, see if it'll fire up. Like I said, this is a rack mount. You got your uh, brackets here and some kind of slide in slot there. Like I said, I would absolutely, if I could, I would definitely run lithium batteries on this. And I think the the one that this, the box that this was in, this was the replacement. It actually did have lithium batteries because I've seen the warnings on there. Something else says, you know, saying it contains lithium batteries. Uh, so, but um, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, wasn't as long as I was thinking in terms of video wise it's going to turn it this way but I don't want to do that but just kind of give you guys a look over and you can look over everything here's the inverter board here rated for 2 kilowatts and then here's your charging transformers and these are in um, series with each other so that's from here to here to here to here so I'm guessing each of these put out 24 volts to get your 48 for your batteries I'm guessing that's it I just that is a thick transformer that's about as much as a microwave oven Pre pretty much although it is low profile so it would you know it's not it can't be as tall but still that's ridiculous and yeah, so it's 2010 is the date on these two so system isn't that old it's still probably got another 10 15 years left in it maybe more if it's well maintained um, this thing could last for a good while. Also, I don't know if this is a pure sign inverter either. Um, I want to say yes, but no. Not, I can't guarantee. Uh, like I said, I haven't tested it. Because you can tell, by the way, if you have a pure sign or a um, square wave. Uh, because it'll be a lot noisier. Like Especially like with a motor. It's very whiny. They have like a sharp transient noise, so to say. Versus a pure sign, you won't get any of that. But, uh... I was wondering if I could... No, I don't think... I think we're, I think we're good. Yeah, I was going to try to take that off. Also, I would think that they, um... Would add some bigger heat sinks than just these pretty much aluminum slabs. I think that's kind of crap quality, in my opinion. I think they should put something more bigger, more aggressive. I mean, for I mean, come on now. I mean, I'm pretty sure most people's computers have a bigger heat sink than this, and it's not even that much. You know, <laughs> it's not even dissipating that much heat from the CPU. Maybe like 100 watts at most. I mean, this thing is supposed to be pushing two kilowatts. Um, of course, you know, it's not supposed to get hot, but I'm just saying. <clears throat> For this instance, I would definitely, and the fact that this is being in a rack, so it's closed up, and you got other equipment throwing heat around, so that it's not necessarily getting ambient air. And I, I've done some work in server rooms before, and um, they're pretty toasty. I'm telling you right now, so they definitely should improve the uh, heat sink design on that for sure. But. Um, I guess that concludes this video, and uh, yeah, I'll link all the other parts in for anybody else looking for the other parts. If you just, if YouTube for some reason just randomly spawns this video in your recommendations, uh, you can just go back and watch part one, two, three, and I think this is four. But uh, but yeah. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching.